welcome back everyone so this is the simulating file that i uh, have provided you the name is for factor correction and uh, i will be giving you the file so don't worry you will just open it just like your previous experiment so the blocks uh, i previously explained now if you say it again some of the blocks uh, let's say this is the supply so in this supply obviously the amount of voltage that are being generated let's say 11 kb this is mentioned and also the frequency and phase shift of phase a these are mentioned and also the configuration that means it is y connection and also the grounded that means y grounded that is the yz so these are specified here and this is the three-phase transformer where the winding on connection that is delta winding 2 is yz so these are mentioned and also there are different parameters you probably know different winding parameters let's say v1 phase to phase that is 11 kb obviously because we have given a supply of 11 kb and the secondary voltage 400 and the second parameter is per unit r1 and also l1 per unit that means the resistance and inductance of primary and also the resistance and inductance of secondary parameters secondary windings uh, have been specified here so there are some you know typical parameters and then uh, here we have the measurement blocks that means it just measure and also the measurement here it is mentioned phase to ground that means you are measuring the phase voltage and here you have calculated the power using that block and if you want to dive details here to know how this power calculation occurs so you can go here mask and here uh, you can go look under mask so then you will be observing so this is the VABC IBC and the output as appears is the P and Q here and uh, this is the marks uh, and this is the go to block so remember one thing there is a tag with is go to so here the go to tag pq so obviously the associated from block should be also pq here so it should match with that go to block so that it can face data from that particular go to and also if you notice this one is pf this is the tag and that's why this is also this should be the pf and this is you know just the display numeric display so here the values are been observed so here we observing p and q and here we are observing the power factor and this is the uh, you know typical algebraic operations like product add square root divide and other sort of steps and this is a parallel rlc load so this is just a three phase parallel rlc load and the configuration y grounded and this is the minimum phase to phase voltage 400 as specified frequency is 50 hertz in the system and these loads has if you notice no capacitance so let's say this is a rl load where the uh, active power is 4.42 kilowatt and the inductive reactive power is 5 kilowatt and here this is the main capacitance back so we have supplied a 2.9 into 10 to the power 3 that means uh, 2.9 kilowatt negative bar so in previous calculations uh, i probably showed that uh, we need at around 28 uh, 2800 and something uh, uh, negative bar so here 2.9 is given so uh, if we apply that 2.9 negative bar 2.9 kilowatt negative bar then the power factor should be around 0.9 because we have find it in our calculations anyway so uh, let's first focus uh, if there is no capacitance bank that means if i comment out this one that means uh, this is not available so this is a typical system where uh, you know no power factor improvement has been done so if i run this simulation now so uh, now if you notice so this is the p for 4 on 3 watt and this is the q for 986 watt and uh, this is the power factor at without improvement that is 0.6628 so the power factor is typically low in this circuit since no power factor improvement techniques have been employed but if you want to uh, you know incorporate that 
capacitor bank then uh, and uh, as a matter of fact uh, you probably observed that i showed the calculation using these values so 4413 4986 and the power factor 1 that was 0 0.6628 and i have showed that you you if you uh, want to have a power factor of 0 0.9 then in this capacitance bank uh, you need to supply at around 28 uh, something that means uh, 2800 and something uh, I forget anyway so this is close to 2.9 kilowatt I can say so that's why it is written here capacitive reactive power so this is a similar parallel RLC load that means this RLC load and this RLC load these are similar that means they are same block in this simulating but here we are using a uh, this one as the load that means it is you know it is just uh, taking ac some active power and some positive bar so that means it is taking some active power and also it is taking some reactive power as well so th th this is a typical scenario of a load but whenever we want to incorporate a capacitor bank that means it will supply negative bar so that's why we have given here some negative bar quantity but the active power is also zero and also the positive bar also zero so that's why this configuration is just like this anyway so previously our power factor is 0.6628 so now if we use this capacitance bank that means if i uncomment this that means it is now available in the system now if i run the simulation again so now if you notice the power factor is 0.9034 so we obviously got our desired power factor so uh, if you uh, understand this thing so i think uh, you got the idea of power factor improvement in using static capacitor banks and in the report uh, i mentioned that uh, you need to have the power factor of 0.98 and to have that 0.98 power factor you need to show the calculation of required amount of negative bar and then you will mention that amount here here so you need to mention that amount here and you will find 0.98 in this power factor and it will, you will show the screenshot of this that you already got the 0.98 power factor and you will submit the screenshot in your report and also you will write necessary discussion in discussion section so i already uh, written this sort of you know direction in your in your template of the lab report so i will be supplying the template as well so that's all thank you everyone